Hey everybody, so I recently saw a tweet from this weird alpha male type account uh, called Americ, uh, and I'll read it to you now. It's been haunting me all day, and I'll read it to you now. Men, don't be emotionally attached to your children. A teacher doesn't attach to his students. A leader doesn't attach to his followers. A man who is emotionally attached to his children will be manipulated by his wife. So I guess what I find interesting about this tweet is the way it kind of lays its own motivations bare for us. You know, looking at the first three sentences of this tweet, you can start to imagine that uh, Eric here is saying something about the best way to raise a child. You know, teachers uh, work to, to aid students, right? They, they work to teach them things. And perhaps he's saying that uh, a father ought to emulate a relationship of a teacher with his child so that they'll, you know, have the best lot in life. But then, in the last sentence, that narrative kind of upends itself. No, he says, this isn't actually even related to the relationship between a father and his children. It is exclusively related to the relationship between a husband and his wife. It is about how his apathy toward the children can allow him to control the woman that he lives with. And I find two things really kind of startling about this. The first is that it is pure evil, just dystopian. You know, purposefully not having a relationship with your children so that your wife won't have any say in your marriage and, and can't control you with the ch needs of the children is just pure evil. It is literally a textbook for abusers. But the other thing that really gets to me about it, the more important thing is that it, it makes sense. See, if he was giving advice on best child rearing practices, what he would be saying would be horrible advice. Uh, it's good to love your children. It obviously helps your children uh, if they are loved. This is an obvious psychological fact that I can't imagine a single person disagreeing with. It is bad advice on how to raise a kid. But it is decent advice on how to destroy your partner's life, on how to make it so that your wife has no power over you whatsoever, to make it so that you are the only person in the house that you have to care about. It's really just shockingly practical, down-to-earth advice. If you want to have total power, uh, don't care about people. Good. It's just interesting, you know? Uh, people advocating for authoritarian, abusive, child-rearing practices are all over the place. You see it on PragerU all the time. And I guess it's just important to remember that, you know, there's other motives at play here. There's other things people want. You know, just saying... Just saying, oh, it's not great to hit your kid. Oh, it's not great to punish them constantly or yell at them. It's not always all that helpful because it doesn't consider the thought, um, how does the way this person is treating his child help him? How does it gain him power in this relationship? How does he feel about the fact that there are people in his life who are afraid of him? How might it benefit somebody to not love their kids? And in this case, um, it's very concrete. It means that when his wife nags him about how the kids are miserable because he doesn't love them, uh, he can just say fuck off and leave the room. Anyway, that, that got, that got dark. That got a little bit darker. I'll see ya. I'll see you next time.